हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक दिस इज संजय कुमार फाउंडर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब दिस हैज बीन ऑलवेज अ वेरी चैलेंजिंग टास्क दैट आइडेंटिफाइंग वेदर द एक्स पाथ व्हिच हैज बीन जनरेटेड बाय अ टूल इफ दैट इज डायनेमिक और एक्स स्टेबल लाइक इफ वी यूज दैट एक्स पाथ इन आवर ऑटोमेशन स्क्रिप्ट विल दैट वर्क और नॉट हाउ कैन वी आइडेंटिफाई दैट सो नाउ सेलेक्टर सब विल हेल्प यू टू आइडेंटिफाई इवन द these kind of x path like which you feel that that could be dynamic one because many a times like class value id value or the attribute value seems like dynamic but they are stable so how can we like make sure that those values those x paths are going to work in our automation script so let's see now selector sub has simplified this problem and solved it for forever so for an example like here we go to let's say google.com so currently this feature will be available in selector sub pro so let me inspect this element click on inspect and here will open selector sub pro so you see that like let me do it with zoom in we have inspected this element and this class value uh, this x path value which has been generated by selector sub it is pretty much stable so there is no alert kind of thing and in fact like we can see that okay this is pretty much stable so not required to be changed so this is an stable x path we can sense it like this title is kind of like a stable value okay let us inspect these any of these elements so we can use simply this selector sub inspector click here and now you see that here this value it is showing you it looks like dynamic right let me zoom in more <clears throat> so this value even looks like more dynamic like you see that f p d o l c i j 9 f b c so alpha numeric value so generally like whenever we see any alpha numeric value that seems like a dynamic value which might get change on page refresh so how can we make sure that this x path is stable it is not going to change if we will refresh the page or if we will use it in our automation script so you need not to worry now you, there is a button you can see that here it shows you the alert icon if you hover on this it tells you that here class looks dynamic use attribute filter to generate relative x path without class or click to check the stability of x path so here what we can do like one thing you can do the very first thing that you can generate without class then it's like it is not using alpha numeric value so in that case this is fine but if you want to check this if you want to generate with class and you want to check if it is going to be stable or unstable simply click on this button let me hide this simply click on this button here and selector serve will automatically check the stability of this x path by refreshing the page and let you know that even after refreshing the page will this going to work or not so you see that here it is showing one element matching and stable x path so you can use this x path in your automation script and it will be working like a champ how and what if like this x path will not be stable so in that situation how it is going to show let me show you one example there as well and this is the inspector actually we have turned on you can just right click and turn off this inspector this is very helpful like whenever you want to inspect multiple elements so you will not have to click on dev tools inspector again and again so that's where this is very helpful okay let me take one more example for stable and then i will show you the stable one unstable one so let's say this i am feeling lucky this one we inspected this element it is showing this dynamic x path let me delete this value so this is again showing the dynamic one right let's refresh this and see a stable x path so this is working fine cool now let us see one some of the unstable x path example like on this page like uh, because these kind of pages like linkedin um, is where dom load a lot very frequently lots of dynamic elements like because if we will refresh the page this uh, like here right now my friends mukesh otwani post is on top so there is some hackathon is happening at ineuron so this is great so if we open here selector sub pro now you see that here it is showing this element as these three dots is showing as a dynamic one okay so 
but of course like we all know that this is not going to be stable because as this is the page one dynamic but those who are not aware about this fact that this is going to change so for that <laughs> so for that in that case this feature is going to help a lot you just click on this refresh button and you will see that selector sub will tell you that this is an unstable x path inspect element again and now you see that that element has gone from here that is not present here so it like th this is the that kind of element but this is again different it's not that mukesh or 21 and here you see that this is a uh, different this is for this is not these three dots are not for that post these three dots are for someone's like bridges Dev's reaction here so this is that element is not here so that this is one scenario where dynamic elements happen and we used to like many a times i have found that many people struggle a lot with the dynamic x path dynamic element how to write them how to identify those so now selector sub will help you easily identifying whether the x path is stable or whether the x path is dynamic or unstable so i hope this feature will help you guys a lot to learn new things to save some time whether uh, like before using those x path you can check that and in fact like <laughs> sometimes it happened that we considered whenever we see some this kind of value alphanumeric we think as a human being of course we will think that this is dynamic but many times they are stable as well so you we can use them like always so it's there is no harm if your uh, attribute value is stable and uh, looks like very random one even then also you can use it like i will show you one more example here so looking at the dom you will always feel that this is a dynamic value you see that here underscore 1k ftjk like these values for sure looks like dynamic only we will not say that they are not dynamic if we will refresh the page but let's see if they are really dynamic or stable so here you see that it is telling you that this looks like dynamic so let me hit it and it is telling you that this is a stable x path and if we expand it here you see that that value is still here so they are not uh, they are not dynamic they are a stable one so i mean if you are in a situation where you have to have to use those values so you can now quickly check them with the help of selectors of whether they are stable or not so this will this feature of selectors will help you guys a lot to get the stable x path for your automation script and check whether that x path is dynamic or stable i hope you like this innovation this new feature please let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you feel if you need any other features do let me know you can raise a ticket here if you uh, feel like any feature is required here is a, just click on this uh, logo here and here you can in bagasura you can raise a ticket or improvement request so this way we can uh, add more and more features and do try this really amazing innovation this will really help you guys a lot if you need any information that how you can start how you uh, what all features are there you please check out more tutorials and here on selectors of website you will get all the details like if you want to get started with selectors of pro you can check it out here if you want the free version this is here selectors of and this is very cheap guys just one dollar per month not even a uh, tea or coffee cost so don't worry this is almost free only so this is how you can enjoy these features and this will help they will help you a lot with that thank you thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to get more updates on such kind of innovations and more features thank you thank you bye bye